My boy, Kwesi Arthur. Hey, they say I shouldn't say my boy again. Kwesi, morning. No, no, good morning. How are you? I'm doing really good. Do you have a publicist? Oh, yes. Yeah. So yeah. he's also going to do an editorial telling me not to call you my boy. I don't know about that. Okay, but okay. I know about that. And they say I shouldn't say my boy again. So Kwesi is not my boy. <laughs> Kwesi? Your man. Okay, because he's my... He, that one said, maybe in publicist we go come uh, Don't call him your man, because he's not your man. <laughs> hey, I need us the attire for this country. Like, yesterday, I go to laugh on social media. That one thing. <laughs> I can't laugh in peace. Because I mean, this be the part you choose. So. Hello. Ah, which part? How are you doing? I just want to laugh. Can't Because he talked to me. The analysis yeah. part. If this was the same thing you did, Because The other time, you were not concentrating. Immediately, you saw... What else? Oh, so okay. Someone is knocking a car because of what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my friend. It's my very good friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kwesi! No, no. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome. Thank you It's so been a much. while. Yes. Where have you been? Um, I've been moving around a lot, you know. And yeah, I've had nothing to really come here to talk about. You no, know, but yeah. Right now is the time. I just dropped um, a project. This is not the tape three. Um, yeah, so I feel like this is the right time to be on here to come see you. This is not the tape. Yes. Tape three. Okay. Is that an EP? Um, so it's actually a mixtape. You know, this is not the tape. It'd be like series way I do very often. Um, yeah, I drop I think, it every I time. I the first one. Yes, I do that every time I'm about to drop a big project, you know. And for a while now, I haven't really been dropping a lot of songs. So I was like, yo, me and the team sat down and we were like, let's just put all these songs together and I give the people more than usual. So usually we do three, four songs on the project, but this time we put nine songs together and yeah i think the people are loving it so far so now what you said that you've not been dropping songs lately what's the cause i'm um, so i've been dro like i drop one like i've dropped a couple of songs you know i've dropped a couple of songs but i just felt like the time wasn't right yet you know i wanted to have something solid to give to my people yeah and yeah the time is right now so and you're saying you, you're about to drop a big project oh yes what's that um I'm looking to drop. I don't want to. You know, time you say, um, it's like I'm hearing oing. <laughs> yeah. That signature. Yeah, they load. Oh, you that. stopped using it. Oh, I still use it. Then, you're, the you're, then you're loading. Yeah, they load. <laughs> yeah, about the fire. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So, yeah, I'm working on another project, but, you know, I don't want to really talk about that, you know, because I want to shed more light on this one that has, like, that's just the latest one. So, yeah, like, people should look out for more stuff for me. Was that the one you were shooting a video with a lot of people on the... I think I saw snippets of... That there was a reel of you topless, as usual, and there were a lot of people at the back on top yeah. of the on top of the yes. building. So that was this past Saturday. Um, that's also a song um, I worked with, Free the Youth on. Yeah, so people should look out for that as well. Yeah. So that's one of the projects we have coming up. Mm. Have you really kitted now? Oh no, no, I have. I still, I still be Ghana, you know, Ghana and the blood still from Tema. No, I just, um, you know, you, I move around, I move around a lot. Like this job we they do, you know, you know, if you talk say you they stay in one place, I move around a lot. But it's rather unfortunate to say this recent trip where I take, like. For some reason, it's just being publicized, and like people are talking about it a lot, you know. What, 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 what were you doing differently? Um, I I don't I don't know I don't know probably because like, yeah, people think say oh I just I know one come or something like because it was rumored that you you're not coming back. How? How saying I why? Mean, well, maybe you have relocated. There was fill out that yeah. You're married or you have a girlfriend there, you're living with her and you're not coming back, you've moved to LA, something, something, something. Yeah, so, bruh, like, me being in LA, Seth, I was working on a music video, you know, so it's crazy to hear these rumors say I relocate and I'm not coming back. You know, sometimes I go to places like London, I go there for two months, I've been to America, I've been there for a couple of weeks, but it's never talked about. But why say this time, like, people are talking about it? I think 
it's cause of say I hadn't like I wasn't dropping songs too, you know. So all that was fueling that rumor and making people think it's true. But I'm here to say that is totally false, you know. And I did here now, you know, live in the flesh. I see. So why were people thinking? Because I remember there was a video. My boy, DJ Slim, did a video that. Oh, Kwesiata, there is. Why is Slim? He was supposed to be here today. He said he was even going to host the show today. <laughs> what happened? Where is he? He's on his way. On his way. Okay. I can't wait for Slim to be here. He's got all the facts and the fillers. Oh, I think that wasn't true. So I don't know about him having facts. Because that wasn't a fact. I did hear now. You know? Oh, yeah, you saw so the video? That was not true. Yeah, I saw it. And I'm like, oh, Charlie, why you did talk that? You know, have conversation with me. And you don't know what I, I'm doing. So why would you come out there and say that? You know, that was like, that'd be slow, mm. you know, and like coming from someone like him, you know, he's someone people listen to a lot. So spreading that false information about me, like it wasn't, it wasn't necessary. Does that mean that all he said about you and the grind up stuff were false? Um, I don't know where he got his information from, but that basically it was, it wasn't true. Absolutely. Yeah. Or, or partial. It's not me stopping. He said I quit music. And I'm not coming back to Ghana anymore. Like, if I'm Moses, yeah. So, yeah, that tells you. Because another, another fella is that, oh, because of that, you decided to come down to show people that, yeah, you go fit, come and go back. Oh, how? Yeah, well. How? So, that, so me coming here to launch the project, that was initially in our plans. You know, um, I think he said I did a project and I dropped it on, um, a straight to fan platform, which I did, you know, and the intention was to drop the project straight for my fans and have the people who are really dedicated to Kwesiata and have been supporting me from the very start enjoy it first before we put it out everywhere. And yeah, we I dropped it on this past Friday and we're here like doing the media runs for the project. How many songs do we have? Nine? Yes. Nine. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna. Um, do we have all nine songs? Okay, let's listen to which one is your favorite anyway? Oh, well, I want to hit one. straight on it. Make we go raging bulls. Is that explicit? Yes, you got <laughs> and <laughs> so we have clean versions, like we send the clean versions as well. Make okay, play so let's let's listen to raging bull. I don't know what he's talking about. What, what are you talking in there? Oh, just say we did rage, you know. Like, we came with a full squad, and there's too many wolves, but we're still raging. It looks like now you've become a bit defensive, and I, I watched you. You sat in, in a car, and you there was a freestyle of you, and you went really hard. When I saw it, I was like, whoa, my boy's back. And at the point, I was watching, like, ooh, like, dropping bombs on them. Yeah. What caused that? Oh, it's just me being passionate about music, being passionate about rap music, and just, you know, like, just speaking from the heart. Yeah. And it's 1 p.m. in Seattle. I actually did that. Um, I shot that in Seattle. I made that in Seattle. And, yeah, it, it's for the fans as well. So I hope, I think they enjoyed it. So, yeah, the job is done. Who was it attacking? Oh, everybody. Anybody with it. Anyone. Anybody with it talk nyabi, yeah. Yeah, it's directed to them. Yeah, I'm not going to say no names because I realize whoever I go mention a name or whoever I go talk about, you know, it's like a certain attention that comes to them, you know. So, yeah, they I won't mention their names, but they know who they are. Who the cat fit? Yeah, let them wear it. Raging Boo, people.
man on my bravo is seeny And man I'm in on my cool me clean Crapped on the track again Charlie I kill him with kindness Timeless Bling Diamonds Africa's finest And we know they with the rah 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 Seal road raging Raging bulls Came with the fools Too many wolves Raging bulls So outlandish Planet Big ups, crept, DJ crept, whoever you are, big up yourself. Who that? I'm um, DJ crept. He's a producer here in Accra, and he usually works with Joey B. You okay. Know? Funny thing is how this song came about. He sent me um, a short video of him, like of the beat on Instagram. Yeah, and I was like, yo, bro. Then I did tell him as he sent it, and I was like, yo, bro, this be crazy. I could like do something on it. So at that point, I just drove straight to the studio. I easily gone. And yeah, funny thing, we locked in and this was the end result. And um, when I had it, I had done the first verse and the chorus and all the other parts were empty. So I think Joey B come to the studio later, he heard it where he was like, yo, this record be crazy, I like it. So he did his verse on there and later he had Stoneboy do the outro to it. Yeah, so big ups, uh, Joey B, big ups, Stone Boy, big ups, DJ Crept. Hmm. Kwesi Ata! Wow. But a lot of people are requesting for Fefe Nefe. Fefe Nefe. Yeah. Which one is that? Oh, yeah, it's also on the project. I think, yeah, a lot of people gravitate towards that. Yeah, we go if you play that, actually. Right. But it's your. Okay, so what's your target now? What's my target now? Um, my target is to make music I love, you know, keep sharing my story. Um, yeah, that's my target, to just touch people who gravitate towards the music. I, I, I feel like now your your target is, like, over the roof. Like, you're, you're targeting the West much more. America, America, that's how I see it. Is that it? Well, I get why you think that, but... um. I'm I'm talk like it's everywhere the music will be touch, you know, not just one market. I'm from Ghana, you know, and my people here still mess with the music I do and I would love to like still keep pushing the music across Africa, you know, and the whole world as a whole, you know. Um starting me getting into music, growing up I used to watch the Michael Jacksons do live tours all over the world, the Bob Marley's, Lucky Dubays and yeah, that's my intention as well. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. The change. Your hair. What happened? Oh. Da Daddy had fought you. Uh, it never happened. Yeah. Mommy, mommy fight you. Uh, it never yeah. happened. Yeah, I know. When, I when know. did the walls of China finally break? Oh, one point I just wake up where I feel say Charlie attire attire this hair. You know, like it had been on for so long, and then I know they feel my scalp. You know. So I was like, yo, Charlie, yeah, the time has come. Let me just let it go. Hmm. Yeah. How did you feel when you were cutting it? Bro, it was it was really trippy. It was really trippy. And cutting it and seeing myself in the mirror, I'd be like, yo, Charlie, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> you know, it was really trippy. Yeah. But but I'm glad I cut it. You know, mm. and, yeah, I'm glad I cut it. Has your dad seen you? Oh, as I cut them, he was very happy. He was like, eh, now you they look nice. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. I know that'd be what they, they want all this time. Yeah. And you you remember, like, I had it even lower than this. Right. You know, yeah, but he really liked that. Mm. Yeah, he really liked that. So, why are you growing it again? Oh, because yeah. now it looks like it's changing. Yes, yes, I'm growing it back. And this time, I did grow, like, the whole, the whole head instead of, like, just leaving the sides. But why? Yeah. Oh, I just, I just want to grow it back again. Do you believe in the perception of people saying that that was the myth? Like, oh, Chrissy, oh, man, he's taking the myth off. Yeah. Like, there was something around you that, you know, people gravitated towards you much more. There was some sort of attraction. Although people didn't like it. Some people, especially the older folks, they didn't like it. Yeah. But... I, I was going through just surfing on on social media, and I noticed that a lot of people were discussing your hair. Oh, he cut his hair down, and because of that, well, look, because he's lost his touch, he's, he's lost his team. Where's the hair? Where's the hair? Have you seen or heard about? Oh, that? I saw that. I saw all of them, and I don't believe that. I don't actually believe that because I've cut my hair before. This is not the first time I did cut my hair. You know, there's more that makes me than just my hair. You know, I have more to me than that. So I don't believe that. If you have more to you, what are some of them? Oh, my, like how I connect through music, what I talk about, you know, who I am as an individual. You know, I be somebody, brother, I'm a friend, I'm a son, you know. I'm a whole lot, yeah. You're a boyfriend? I'm a no, I'm a husband. <laughs> oh, you're a husband now? Yeah. Oh, are you married now? Yeah, that'd be what I go talk. Yeah, I'm a husband. Yeah. Oh, wow. Congrats. Thank you. How long? Oh, like a couple of months. Oh, congrats. Congrats. Where's she? Oh, I'd like to keep that private, you know, because, yeah, I go like to keep that private, you know, and grow from part to part, you know, so I just like to, I, I think that is something that's for me. You know, to enjoy. So I just love keeping that to myself. Mm. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Nice, nice, nice. You're a man now. Oh. <laughs> so you're a man. <laughs> My man. <laughs> you're a man now, Quincy. And I'm proud of you. Congrats. Congrats. Let me take you back a bit. Because there are a lot of stories around you. And I haven't seen you in a, in a very long time. This whole ground up stuff, what's happening? Yeah. Um, so I had, um, I had a working relationship with them. I had a contract with them, you know. And, yeah, like I did, a, I did my time. We, we did something that has never been done in this country before, you know. And, yeah, like, my term is over. I think, like, I've spoken about it enough, you know. But, yeah, pretty much, like, that's what I'll pretty much say, you know. Yeah. I haven't heard your side anyway. Oh, you get out there? No, for me, I have Honestly, I haven't. Honestly. Yeah, well, like, I had a contract, and, yeah, it ended. It ended. And, like, now I just started my own music company, um, oh, nice. CC. And this project was dropped through CC in collaboration with TME Music and Warner France. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm happy I'm moving on. And, yeah, just expect... What is CC? As in C... CC, 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 meaning yes, yes. CC happens to be oh. my grandmother's name as well. You know, and my grandmother, like, she was a very strong, solid woman, you know. And, yeah, I just named it in honor of her. Oh. Yeah. Are you looking forward to sign... Other artists. Yeah, in the future, in the future. And I'm, I've been working with artists. Like, I always work with artists, but I haven't signed anybody yet. You know, at the moment, I they look to project my music more and, like, just build a very solid structure, you know. And, like, when I feel like, oh, the time is right to sign new people on, I will. But I'm still supporting other artists and, you know, just helping them with what they have going on as well. Mm. Congrats. Thank you. Uh congrats. So so for now no ground up, Charlie. Nothing no. like that. No. Nothing. That there were news that you you had issues with the gentleman that that began the whole thing and there was no proper um documentation. And that was why you you felt cheated and 
wanted out and he wouldn't let you. Yeah. Was that the truth? Yeah, so that's not that's not true. Like there's more to the story, you know, and that's not true. So I signed a contract, like I said, like I signed a contract. But yeah, there's so much to it. And I think over the years I've spoken about it, you know, and yeah, like my energy be different right now. I don't wanna keep pouring like fuel in that fire no more. You know, I want I want to move on from it. But are you okay with him? Um, we're on talking terms. Yeah, we're on talking terms. So what happens to the old songs? Grind day, winning, all of them nice songs. Um, so I'm still I'm still I still perform those songs. Yeah, I still perform those songs. I still have access to those songs. Streaming? Yeah, I still have access to them. But we're still talking about it, trying to figure that side out. But I heard somebody say, Oh, I know if you perform my songs and you know, like Charlie, you, people for validate them my information. You know, cause like yeah, I, I'm still able to perform the songs. Um, do everything is not settled, but yeah, we're working on it on the low. Listen, let's get back to the mixtape, folks. The match talked about for FNFS song. Yeah. Nice song. Yeah. It be, it be, it be. Have you got a video for it? Um, so we're working on it. We are working on it at the moment. Which of these songs have videos? Um, Jungle Music has a video which is not out yet. It's still being worked on. Um for life as well. And like a lot of them are still being worked on at the moment. You know, for a minute, I thought you you were you were messing with, with Joe Boy. Yeah. What happened? Oh, I still mess with him. I still mess with him. We talk all the time. And yeah, he's a really talented individual as well. And I think people like what we have going on. You know, we've dropped two songs so far. We've made a couple of other songs which aren't out yet. I think people are really like, people really like the chemistry we have. And yeah, in the future, I'm looking forward to us doing other projects together. Mm. Let me read some comments on Facebook. Pa PG Collins says, I'm watching you live from Wasekopo. I love your show, Andy. Basco One says, how long will this... Okay, uh, Kwesi Modo says, I really love the song. Why, Andy, thank you. Kamenya 
T oh Kimenya, you know Kimenya the, the producer. Kimenya, yeah. He says Kwesi Arthur the goat. Kofi West says Bosco one, I don't like okay. Um wise guy I played for FNF. Daniel Kwe, I'm a safri body said Andy does the please talk with Seattle to check this new artist in Tema. New town that has the same flow as him. The name is J.R. Kedis. He can sign him. Um, could you still say new king success? Um Aite Anta says they talk like there's some bitterness in him. That's what I think. Um but in someone said, hi, hey, because he's married. Well, like they give him to your sister or what? Kwesi. <laughs> Can I show who says if you did tell my one finger for Kwesi? Ruthie Mommy the Nelson says a few other is coming for him after this interview pair. What is what is it with you and her anyway? Um, there's I have no communication whatsoever with her. I have no connection with her. You know, I've been spoken to her in like so many years now, you know. And yeah, I have a woman and I think it's totally disrespectful to my woman to talk about other women. I don't want to talk about other women besides the woman. I'm in a relationship with. You know. I appreciate that. Uh, Kwesi model said, ground to the top. My favorite artist. I really like your music. Daniel Kwe says, great to the Riyasi Tema to the world. Freddie Black is asking, Slim, why you know, why you know the the studio? Why is guy come said, favorite songs on the EP, FNFF for life, Ginger, Make a Way, Raging Bull. Ablekuma Nana Lace. Yo, Nana Lace is Yo. here. <laughs> Yo. Who know that? No, wait. Who know the few Nana Lace? Yo, crazy. Why? Why they love? You don't oh, feel out. Yeah, it get, it get some hard flow. Wait, it be, it be really lyrical. Like, it be talented. Too much. You know? Yeah. Too much. Would you want to invite him one day? Would you want to record? Nana Lace. Nana Lace. Yeah. yeah. Like, hopefully. Like, yeah. Make you see. Like, you go hear some scientific words. Like, psychedelic. Flow. Kwesi Ataric Mo. And you all know. <laughs> yo, yo. That it go be yo, yo. <laughs> yo. Just say, Otene se sutene ma. O mama. Eko ye to se o mama. Hey. Nana Lays. I'm on mama. I'm on mama. <laughs> he says, shout out Andy. Kwesi is a wonderful guy. Uh, and you're wonderful pundits. Okay, get busy. Okay. Righty. New Kinsa says that album, Son of a Son of a Jacob. Yeah, son of Jacob. Son of Jacob, I beg yeah. your pardon. Yes. Yes. What happened? Oh, we dropped it. We released it. And yeah, the people love that. Yes. Okay. Why is that copy says Stone Boys outro on the Raging Bull be mad but play for FNF? <laughs> Daniel Kuyama says Son of Jacob. Look at people feel people they feel Son of Jacob. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be it be classic already. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah, boy Bright Dominic says, We miss you, Kwesi. That's too, that disturbed track. Uh Boskawan said the dawn, the dusty, thank you. Braco V said Kwesi, much love for this side. Keep doing what you we know you do. Rich Wepa said more fire. Sam UL says Kwesi is the king. Uh Emmanuel says he says please tell Kwesi to check out Boy Ages. Upcoming artist with Kwesi Arthur Vibes. What is it with Kwesi Arthur Vibes? People talking about <laughs> the one that one guy who who's really got your vibe is my son. Um Kweku Flake. Kweku Flake. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, there's nothing going on. Yeah, I think he'd be, he'd be good artist. Too much. Know? Yeah, he did for so I, I hear his song, the Kusu song he made with Small I'm not, I'm not Dean Rock. Yeah. Fire, I fire, fire, Kusu. Fire. Yeah. I hear him in a club, like, on Saturday night. Yeah, he did go off for uh, Yeah, so shout out to Kweku Flake. We've spoken a couple of times, but um, we haven't really connected in a while yeah so big up yourself wherever you did i thought you guys were gonna have a record what happened i think the last yeah. time you came you spoke about him yeah. and that you you admire him he's yeah. younger he's coming up and you really want to put him on what happened oh we for luck in we for luck and i think at that at that period i was working on my project as well you know was yeah. that not the best time to have done it i don't think it i don't think it was yeah i don't think it was because you you already had plans yeah, but when everything connects, yeah, we will definitely get one in. 
Yeah. How do you feel when people compare both of you and uh, this, that, this one is tapping into this and he's the new guy and he's, I mean, all of them talk, talk, talk. Yeah. Um, I think there's a human saying where they where it be like, like the highest form like of something, something is to inspire, you know? And yeah, I feel like I've inspired him to do what he does, you know, and like it's, I'm honored, you know, to be able to inspire other people like him as well. And like, yeah, I think now like he's also found himself through the music and like his, he's found his own voice and is carving a lane for himself. Yeah, so I'm I'm really humbled by that. Yeah. Mm. Ever Kanye Cool says, my guy that took Christiata to the world. MC Guire, oh, Maguire, he says, last three weeks I had to listen to Jungle Music Part 1 before I could write my mid -sem exam. <laughs> wow, Rich Polo said, Godfather, come back. Um, that boy Rich Money said, for life be my favorite. Prince Anochi Balotelli says, Kwesi be loud, silent killer, marriage on a low key. The night we ask upon say, keep up the good work, Kwesi, we love you so much. Thumbs up. Pretty Savage says, Fit native this. I love Kwesiata so much. I give him for gr. Okay. Um, Bregi Archer Derek Brego says, Make a way, it is a big tune. Kojou says, Andy, can you please ask Kwesi that is he going to do a video with uh, M. Hancho? That track deserves more push. Um, M. Hancho for the song of Son of Jacob. Um, I, I don't think that's happening now. Like, we're supposed to shoot it in L.A. in, like, 2022. But, yeah, now it's, like, so long. Like, I don't think we're going to get back to that. Mm. Dennis I was asking, who is that lady? That, uh, Masa, why? Mm -hmm. That's Kwe, Kwesi's wife. Come and take care. Uh, no, no. <laughs> 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 uh, now the Everyone is asking. A lot of people are asking, who is that lady? About, you guys, can't you make out Ria? I'm, I'm shocked. Eh. Uh, uh, McLean Paulus Akoto says, tell Kosi to drop his top five rappers in Ghana. Uh, Soshi Kitty said, we all love you, bro. Kinto says, Chalan, the other song, Nirvana, the heel wounds. Um, Dr. Abrofo Sam said, tell Kosi I thought to drop his recent freestyle. Uh, Bosco said, God bless you, Kosi. You be real G. Kofi Mole says, special guy. Oh, your guy. Is he your guy? Kofi Mole. Yeah, Kofi Mole be my guy. I will also have but is it, it be him? No, it yeah, yeah. Oh, hi. Because he's got a stag on it. Oh, it's fire, fire. Yeah. yeah, big ups, Apostle Gangster. Yeah, he's a special guy. Yeah. The Five Vibe says, Kwesi never left. Omar Lamar said, why? We miss you so much, bro. Um, Dennis Hatcher said, Andy, please ask him how far with him in paradise. Who that? I don't know. Who's, who be that? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Kwesi Jam says, um, a few of them must be uh, okay, but why? Why did a few of them name? Was did you ever have anything to do with her? I don't want to talk about other women. All right, cool. Either. Thank you. Okay. I feel they help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she did they hear? They listen. Oh no, no, no. She don't even they listen. House. You know. Um, yeah. Because I'm looking at the time, nine twenty. <laughs> <laughs> she might be sleeping. Why you people, why? Why why you people there like that? You don't want Kwesi to have his peace. No, like I didn't to the tester. The tester. Uh, the tester. Uh, okay. But um <laughs> so with all these issues and people saying this and say uh, have they affected you in a way? Oh, like they de it definitely is gonna affect me in a way, you know. Yeah, but like I asked for like I asked to make like I wanted to make music. You know, and yeah, like there be highs, there be lows to it. You know, so yeah, for just deal with them. But yeah, it definitely affects me. Like it's affected me in a way, but you know, I overcome it. We I go keep on like doing my thing. Yeah, when you say in a way, what what do you mean in a way? Like in a sense that, yo, like the negativity. You know, like seeing the negativity, it be it be some way like. It just it just kind of hurts in a sense, you know. But yeah, like so in a bad way, yeah. it's affected you. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, but like we overcome it all the time, you know. 
And I'm still here. I'm still going. I want us to also look at the positive side. Enough of the negatives. Yeah. What are some of the positive st- stuff that that you've benefited from all of these? Uh, yeah, they're saying I, I'm dead. They're saying... Yeah. Uh, I got up. Dead? No, when I say that, I don't mean... I mean, I'm only making an... Uh, you know. <laughs> Like yeah, now then you enter me can find home, Charlie. Yeah. Hey, you did that. You, you feel hear some stuff like really me. Ah, recently I heard something like hey, about who me me and the dusty. <laughs> ah, I mean how? But people who they talk, and you know, they can just create anything. Sometimes when you watch some of the stuff people say on on YouTube, you go like ah, why is you near? You, you need my attention. No, they, they just want attention. Yeah, that's a <laughs> so let's look at the positive sides. Yeah. Um, I think there's a lot of positives. You know, I'm able to um, provide for my family. I'm able to um, fund my other passions as well. You know, I'm able to travel around the world. You know, I'll be somebody where then I did watch TV while uh, then times, you know. And now I'm in a position where I go, I defeat travel, go Mexico, go see there. You know, I be tell my boy, like, I never think, say, oh, Charlie, Mexico safe, I go enter. You know, I defeat go there, then since um, I'm able to be in rooms where I couldn't have been in in the past. Yeah. Um, I remember I met, I was able to meet, like, His Royal Majesty at Santa Oh, wow. You know, yeah, and I was really honored, you know, and like, yeah, those those are some of the. Um, great things that come with this. Yeah. Great. Folks, let's listen to one more song from the mixtape for life. Plan B, B, C, plan. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it as as melodious as... Yo, this is fire, man. Yo, 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 yo. So far, this is my favorite. M-O-G-B. Truly. Yeah. yeah. Your your reaction makes me feel like you... It's not really your favorite. You don't really like it. Oh, I like it too. Yeah. Because I put it out as well. Oh. If I didn't, I'm not going to put them out. I like them. Oh, no, no. But you know, sometimes... You know, as musicians, I remember back in the day, Kojemchi... In our meetings, you, Charlie Andy, me, 
Dear me feeling no you know as a mu obi am pe as a you know so sometimes he's only waiting for maybe my input or he's waiting for one someone to add it to what he feels like oh you are the man I knew that somebody like you there you know music you there you go like the song pe because the one you you like may not be the one people like yeah some some song you go throw on the album like you know you jay your eyes up you didn't know who me there out there like ah this song mom yeah. so it could be that one of the songs you feel like mm, it's okay like we, we play it could be good wow. you go like you have again yeah enter. like yeah the drums he the enter drum. me while like I want add, add, add out to my playlist me be so. what, what I do is that once I say I, I'm adding it it means it's going into my car straight so, oh nice okay. it doesn't yeah it doesn't matter the artist your whether you are a list or Y list or, or X list, I don't care. So there's Y list. Man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm so, I, I, it doesn't. I don't care. It'd be sweet, it'd be very sweet. Yeah. It'd, it'd so for me, once I say it, it, I like it. I mean, it, yo, it did on my playlist, and I'll, I'll make sure that, like, yeah, if for go on. Yeah. If for go on. I like this for life. I did. Yeah, you did, you did. <laughs> right. Then I for run. Yeah. Just because Kwesi... I jump out of my car. Oh, really? We are for run car. And, and he gave the car to an Okada driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some Okada rider. We did Kwesi bike in Namde bike. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Take your breath. Take your deep uh, breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your deep breath. While I read some tweets. Uh, Adweba says, oh, Andy Dustin, nice song, but why did he give that title for life? For life, you saying? And I'm sure you made the song for his wife, and he can't deny that. Because he go for so. I swear. <laughs> but is that true, though? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, like, obviously, like, you know, that's the woman in my life. So it was inspired by her. Oh, yeah. wow. So shout out, shout out. The boy is in love. <laughs> shout out who? Charlie, how you could do on <laughs> He said shout out, shout out who? Yeah, shout, she knows. To like, so wifey. Yeah. For life. Of course. For life. life. You know what we talk for life. For life is You for can't life. say for life. Nana Kwesi says, what mom and dad couldn't do, I grab that did it with just a touch. You go cut the hair. It's a miracle. <laughs> Why did you mean Nana Gada? Oh, yeah, Michelle. Eh? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Feel like I'll be your man self talk right. something about that. That'd be, that'd be, be one, slow. Yeah, well, that be one of the things that I when I talked about it, I think when I got a call from Chris's dad, I retracted that. But it was a joke, it was just a joke. For, for real, it just be joking. Mr. Danzo called you. 
You understand how so called. So it was very just nice, a, man. Very, very extremely. In fact, Charlie, big ups to old boy. Yeah, we, we spoke at length. Like because this dad is uh, Charlie, super, super, super yeah, awesome. Too like much. Too even much. this morning, he sent me a message. Like constantly, he's on my phone too and much. he's checking on my son. Like yo, how is he doing? Yo. So, yo, how about his results? Okay, about we, school. If we get puppy like this, and Quasi, I <laughs> Quasi, you, my son is like, Quasi is like, that's his idol. Straight Quasi know they check on him. He being grand puppy where they check on him. <laughs> no being puppy. <laughs> I've given you a son to father. But you know, say, usually be the grand puppies where they show the kiddies more. My friend, come up for that. Be, <laughs> your, your son, like, yo, that's your son. Yo, yeah, take yeah, him yeah. through it. Ah, my yeah. son's birthday, Kwesi surprised him. Chale come see the day that they rap, then they do competition. Bass. Chale bass, oh. Bass and kwa. If you're a Kwesi a dog, you know. Oh, no, I never saw. Andy. Okay. For real, for real. Uh, let me continue. Boma Zagoma says, and it does to my own time, Kwesi other song is pain. The song is deep. DJ Slim no end. No, oh, no, about. I said like that. Oh no, no, he mentioned about that. I had to, had to track I mean, mm. It was just a joke. Adiba says, Kwesi is trying to tell us that his strength does not depend on his hair. He is not Samson. <laughs> Talent day for mind. And yet three new Samson. Yeah, Kwesi Samson. Yeah, you find that day. <laughs> uh, Bobby says, Dusty man, Andy, this is not the tape two uh, tape three there. And one no track nine. Make a way to do hey, make a way to people they request for umpire. 95 volunteer says, Andy, please, we the librarians want to find out if Kwesi, this is not the tape three, is library friendly. Oh, yeah, we for discuss some for the library. Because he has never been on the library. 95 volunteer says, it looks like our boy Kwesi has turned to America, yeah? Then the former Yubab thing, very interesting to hear him again. Yeah, he stopped Yubab. <laughs> Darling, I'm just said, please tell him we love him and his music thoughts. King Arthur, much love. Uh, Benjamin Clinton says, Andy, one question to Kwesiata. What got him to record Pray For Me and he would do, will he do a record like that again? Um, I think it was inspired by what I was going through at the time. Yeah. So, I I can't make another record like it, you know, because then I'll go through a different heart. experience. Yeah, and like that was tailored particularly to that. Yeah, but if I'm inspired to make a record that hits him the same way, yeah. Sure. Mm. Jokot says, um, Empress May, if you want, the man wished his wife was sexy like you. If you dress Richard too, is the okay, okay. I think this for Empress, uh, Empress Gifty. She came in a bit earlier. Tyro Sajima says, Andy, this is the one song I would love to be locked on up on some island for 30 billion for a month or two, Charlie, for life, man. Okay. Slim. Godfather. Mm, Chris, he's all yours now. Yeah, yeah, Charlie. That's my broski, though. People don't know that. My my second DJ Slim invasion where I do, this man came through for me. Oh, really? Charlie, you know, take one CD self. Wow. Anyway, they take one CD and a dream, you do so. You know, take one CD self. And that's all love. And I think maybe, you know, how I put certain things out on socials and things, maybe he, he, he might see I'm in a certain way. But most of the things we have put out on my YouTube channel, Godfather. It comes from people in the industry, and you know how it is. Like in our business, I can get a scoop of something, right? And with a scoop, I might try to dig and find out what is really going on. It's not that I don't do that for every artist, but I do that for the people that I'm concerned about. Mm. So if I'm logged in on Kwesi, it's Kwesi that I go, I'm, I go dig on now. So why I do editorial on Kwesi Atta in the first place? On social media, I realized that so many people were pushing some agenda. Where Kwesi did? Where Kwesi did? And I'm like, Charlie, this guy too is super talented. He's one artist. If he they sing, he they be. If he they rap, he they be. Why is that creator? Too much. Ne side be out in a be ehu. Yeah. Who didn't anymore? Who didn't achieve? So, I'm sitting there thinking that yo, what are some of the things that we we can do to get this artist back into the studio? And it was like it wasn't like Wesley wasn't dropping song. He was dropping song, but. You feel the heat whenever you drop a song as an artist and that's like, that's the, that strong machine pushing it and all that. It's like, Charlie, it's not happening. What's going on with my artist? What's going on with my guy? You can't say he's your guy. Now they say, don't say he's my boy, my guy. You can't say that. <laughs> or you don't get him yet. I get him. Oh, you get some? I get him. Okay. But what's going on with Kwesi? Because I love this guy so much. No homo. And Charlie, the bill, then they can't pass the bill. Yeah, <laughs> so, boss, what's a day? No, I said no. 
let me link up to a couple of people who know who know inside. And That's I really, how you got the filler. Yes, I got so so challenged the info away I get then it'd be too deep. But I decided to explain because it was triggered by Twitch in tweet. So I was trying to in my editorial trying to explain why Twitch put out that. I explained and I explained that actually. If if you people really don't know all this info, that'd be why Chrissy 2 also slow down on a certain level because contract issues they plenty. So don't put too much pressure on him because right now where he did, he did a job. You get it right. He did a job. He did some cool place. Where, and you know crying and you cry debut because looking at the issues where the guy is going through. But unfortunately, there was a 20 second crop or 21 second crop of the whole editorial that was put out. And the people was, ah, any slim sequence at the And that was it. People never watched like the whole tape. Oh my hill. Ketuano no moko fabe tour. Because even the whole tape wasn't about Chris, it was about Twitch. You understand? I see say my man put say he be cap. Well, I stand to be corrected, of course. If it be info where I get, it go feel be right. It go feel be wrong. But I did a second editorial and I was saying that reasons why we, Somebody like myself will say, Kwesi Sean music. You know, be say, Kwesi go, can't tell me, say, Sean. Because Asem never told us, say, Sean. And so the weather channel coming soon. Coming soon. Mm. And these are some of the things that I believe industry players like ourselves will need to be, make sure, because like artists, you know, artists, we have a contract with the artist. Say, you go put music out and we go support them. So at any given point in time, the artist decides, say, you know, go do again. It be breach of contract. And, because be one artist I really the see hate towards him. I never see hate towards him. Nobody, me name, nobody they hate him. So if somebody talks something about him and all of a sudden it's, it's deemed as hate, then I the worry small. Because imagine if we had put Asem on the same pedestal, like on the same check, put him in check, say, yo, bro, you know, we feel level. Because things where, I mean, boss, we did the industry, things where they surround him, movement and things, so most of them were. Here see, here see, plenty here see. So I'm saying that you, number one, if you drop an album as big as Son of Jacob with the world class features, Charlie, some of the endorsement way that album gets. I mean, Madden 23 had winning on it, right? Yeah. It, I, yo, start the promo run, all the thing quench. I say, yo, what they go on? Charlie, artists way, they know they Ghana, Bosu. It's extremely hard for you to activate your music. Our system has proven time and time. Like, I'm, I'm trying to find in recent times an artist who's been successful in doing that, like activating the music from afar. Okay. I stand to be. My book tells go chop your money. I stand to be corrected. Maybe Kwesi Gofi break that thing. You understand? But Ebiniho, until if your favorite artist is doing that, you get scared. Say Charlie, I don't know who, me who say akwa we ye bi okotna. Utakobi drop the song, big banger. But Oniha. The promo no very slow. Somebody yeah. go take the money. I yeah. they go do promo. Obedi, obe huno no bomo ani sake ho chili kwa the chicken wings and all the bone no. With some honey. Ah, what you So I was I did that editorial to explain further, but I just realized that the, that small seconds of them we go out. That be what people they use right. And I don't know how crazy feels personally about that because I'm thinking it's up to us to talk about the industry. We generate conversations around the industry. We talk about the songs. We talk about the personalities behind the songs. We talk about the music. BBI, I will say, I can't watch them. It's our industry. But then I feel like I feel say, okay, the backlash, maybe they understand them because we still follow each other on social media. I know he's been in the business for, for a minute, so what I say. But then on social media, I realized that it also generated a lot of conversations. That is pushing the music. And that is what we want. That is what I want. I want that thing to happen. People know for sleep on any talent for this country inside. We tire. One, two months, it will be a faco. And Bosu, Yankee, me, then you, we know. Last time I'm a Kosha, okay, to be imagine, say, me, you cut Oh, maybe you. Now, me, you cut it. Now, me, you maybe will show me that. I'm going to go to a food session. Me, do you share? Me, do you be crap time a year, Juma? Then, if you call my name, say, I know they hear. Ah, if they call the name, maybe I know they hear. But I realized that, Charlie, at the end of the week, Charlie, some. Cool dollar big of you hit the account. What I say, what the call, what the atom, the question one, what mean number be, and I'm thinking, Charlie, 
the flexibility of life and the comfortness that way they there boss chances say your mind will feel switch be hard and and yeah and yes i won't wait take a decision you know it's like a yeah and then and i'm like yo no because he can't do that to us bro when you drop grind day you know what happened in kumasi when you drop that track badness okay badness everybody loves you right now Kwesi at a point mentioned that some of the comments you made on your uh, in your editorial, yeah. you felt they were a bit slow. Yeah. Oh, but Andy, I want to talk. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So you know, whoever source you they get your information yeah. from, like I don't think it's reliable enough. You know, like Who? those people know they tell you the truth basically. You know, and saying like I did work for some, like that's not true. I've been working on music. You know all I these songs, all these songs on this this project, and like wait other songs I have for my next project. I was working on it out there, mm -hmm. you know. So that's like totally false, mm -hmm. you know. And yeah, like in regards to like I can't be compared to some like I can't be compared to Asem, you know. Like we all we get different stories, yeah. you know. And I they go back and forth. There's been instances where I've spent so much time out there, but I haven't been like where i wasn't here you mm -hmm. know but i never hear say people they talk about them mm -hmm. you know i feel say the people we, they spoke to you about it they probably have like their own personal vendettas mm -hmm. against me we they know they talk you know so that'd be slow okay, okay so do you feel that the editorial that i did was like bad like in, towards your brand or something like oh i feel say it was spreading like falsehood about it like saying say mm -hmm. i they work we if i they work for there we are making money like i don't i'm not gonna come back home you know, and like say me, I quit music. I never, for one, said I quit yeah, yeah. music. I never even thought about quitting music. But Quizzy, did did you ever watch like the the editorial? The oh, I watch them. The yeah. two of them. I watched the first one. You never watched the second one. No, so I then, haven't watched the second yeah, yeah. one. So I understand. I understand. I understand what it is. But bro, from the bottom of my heart, if anything that I said about you, I mean, I'll I'll take the, uh, I grab that thing back. That one wasn't in a good place, and I said it in the editorial. That I take it back. It was just a joke, just pure joke. Because you know, you know the relationship. If you never had any type of, you know, good heart towards my brand and what my brand stands for, you wouldn't have, you know, dropped that. I like, dropped down to Kumasi to perform for me for free. Yeah. You understand? So, anything that I'm talking there, if at any point in time you feel it was hurtful towards your brand, I'll take it back. But these are things that I've, I've been through. It. I've been in the industry for 17 years, and I've seen it happen over and over and over again. Like, artists take some break, then if you say, okay, yeah, cool, they go clear in mind. Then, uh, I say, well, I'll start TV, be back with me, then you go drop some song, be hit one DJ up, Charlie, help me push him. You they push her, uh, then it go slow down again. Then after a year or two, we've seen it over and over again. And that is not what I want to happen, like see happen to Kwesiata. Yeah. Well, Kwesiata, young king, I don't want to see that happen to Kwesiata. Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. But like, yeah, that's that's not me. Actually, this, like, I did here now. Yeah. Like, yeah. And we for day. Yeah. We for day, we for do Push the music. Yes. Yeah, we go do We, we go push them. <laughs> yeah, for that's sure. That's the vibe. Okay. Ah, uh, Adam. <laughs> German. I enjoy the conversation. Okay, then. Okay, okay, <laughs> what the idea here? I got your body watching grass. Oh, Andy. Oh, like, you say, you see, 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 you Sometimes the heat might be coming in from management. Sometimes the heat might be coming in from artists. Because when I did this editorial, I can show you screenshots of some of people, like DMs of some of the people from Ground Away that hit me up, including Big Homie Flea, hit me up. I was like, he also wants to say something. And, and my sources, not among them. Like, I talk to solo sources, no be somebody I know say, or Ground that might have some heat towards you or something. But like, Different, different sources and ground up. They be a info from up. Like they are from ground up, like <laughs> every day. DMs. No, then two, they won't talk some. Then two, they won't talk them. I think be like, are they talk favor? We see, we see two say, are they talk favor? Some people, I'm like, yo, this is what I heard. So the real issue, I believe, should be out there so that as we did document them in Chairman Soso Femu BB, I believe that because. Contract issues, 
are serious, and I, I think it's high time we pay close attention to it. Mm. If it kill artists, it can kill business. Because when Kwesi is moving right now, there are so many people that are eating off Kwesi's brand. AY for you, cry to post. There are so many people. Me, YouTubers, I they eat for man. You understand? So, yeah. oh yeah. Hey, Kwesi, who are you? I'm going to pay taxes. 10 and 15. Slim. Slim, Kwesi's fans are coming for you. They say you should rather apologize to him on your. I've oh, done you it in this. In, that's why I say, from the second editorial. On, they know on, what on street to, is watching. And it's been like a month. Oh, really? Oh, a month. Oh, so I think I saw I saw that apology one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw that. Over a month ago. So the timelines where are they talk about, people got it wrong because I'm um, 21 second video. No? This is what they did. I put out a tweet that I just spoke to Kwesi's dad, right? And the information that I'm getting be quite, you know, disturbing and I want to apologize on certain things. So I, pu I put out that tweet. What happened was, my brother Kojo Sheldon did his own editorial and almost the timeline is boom. So it became like, after Slim spoke to Kwesi's dad, and Kwesi papa catches Slim say, Kwesi may be him. That is, that is where they got it wrong. So Sheldon put out that, Headless YouTuber put out that. So a couple of YouTubers put out that information. But then it was after I did the first video. That was when Chris's dad saw it. And all Fred. And all I can't go into the details. But then we had a lengthy conversation. That is when I put the tweet out. So what I said was based on me, my conviction. Nobody gave me that information. I don't want people to get that thing out there say, oh, be the mommy information. No, I said it myself. The quit music, no. And of course, he said, it's false. And I came back to apologize. Simple. Kill us, let's see what I'm say. Okay. So that's it. Um, more comments. Adam, please, I'll come back. So let me read these ones quickly. Because his fans are calling for an apology from Slim on the street. is watching. You do 30 times if they want. Because Kwesi be my guy. He be my guy. Okay. We all know. And it's for life. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say for life. Oh, but it did it. It be it's song for title. Die. It's for that. It's for that. The crazy song title for life. What, 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 what was David? Were you on Davido's album tour? Um, so I was on uh, what's it called? Um, the show stop in Atlanta. Yeah, at the State Farm Arena. Yeah, I was there. And then also, like, I opened up, yeah. and that one too, like. People did, were saying all sorts of things about it. Like and what? You. Oh, and I. <laughs> you got to you got to explain, Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that. like people, they talk say, oh, nobody did a stadium. Oh. Then oh. it be slow. Then, bro, like all sorts of things. But that was, there were people actually there, you know. And I talk say, yo, if two people self they there, like four, me, four, I go perform. Three, three, because three. they're my boy, uh, all American arena, like a whole big ass arena, like. I think it was it was good for my music as well, you know, to be able to open for someone like Davido, who has a much larger audience, which I am working on tapping into as well. Yeah. Some of these comments, so when you see them, what does it affect your next performance? I saw you in in around the DMV area. There was a a concert recently. Yeah. Um. What was it? Rolling cocoa. Cocoa, right. Yeah. So these kind of co comments, do they affect you? Um. Well, see, upon seeing it, you know, it's very annoying and frustrating, you know. But, yeah, I don't let that take me into my next performances, you know. Like, before every show, I just psych myself and I practice with my DJs and, yeah, just hope to give the people who show up and, like, pay to see us, like, their money's worth and entertain them as much as possible. You know, so I don't let that affect my performances. Mm. And then, yeah, <laughs> it's it's really interesting. It's it, it's part of the game. I mean, it gets to a point where certain things come out to 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 your surprise and like uh, attribution theory says. Now, when things happen, and it's like we do not really have explanation as to why it has happened. People try to attribute it to their own, I mean, understanding, their own idiosyncrasies. They they try to figure things out themselves and attribute certain things. To. So 
and it's why some of these things happen. I mean, they don't uh, get what is happening, but they, they have. And the fans, too, I mean, they see you perform, regardless of how it goes, you know. There are some who, some are saddest. They will come and make negative comments, even if the thing is positive. So, I mean, don't let it weigh you down. Focus on the positives, and you you see the bigger picture of where you want to get to. So, I mean, the focus should be on the bigger picture, so that at the end of the day, when you get to that point where you are showing you working, they will say, "Wow, the guy did it." So, I mean, just focus. You have an amazing project, and I know, I mean, this project can take you to the next level. So uh, focus a lot of attention on it and ensure that it gets to every corner where people need to hear it. Finally, I want to, I mean, education is very important. Music, business and other things. Up and coming artists are there. People are sending them on among other things. I mean, from your experience, from other deals and other, what is that one advice that you will give to these up and coming artists? Um, what I'll say is, like, you should know what you want to do. Like, you should know what you want to do, how you want to be represented, even before you get into an arrangement with anybody. You know, and, like, make sure you have, like, legal counseling. Like, get proper legal counseling before you put pen on paper on anything, you know. Yeah, don't just let your desperation or your urge to be, like, put you read on, the team yeah, they push be, you. They be you now. Yeah. Make, you know, make that, like, push you to, like, just... Go be in any mm. ar- arrangement. Give it to a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. Honor, make honor, you look honor, at them. Yeah. Honor, yeah. Honor, and like, honor. just believe in yourself. Let your confidence come from within. You know. Yeah. Believe. Say you go feed do one. You know. Yeah. And and some of your fans are definitely a, yeah definitely affected by some of these things. I mean, going around. Uh, now the project is here. You are here. I mean, it's like your first. I mean, interview since some of these people. What are you telling them? Oh, well, I'd say, like, thank you guys for supporting me. At the say yeah, some of, like, a lot of them still, you know, they go out for me, they push my music, they support me. So I'd like to say thank you guys so much. Keep supporting the music, keep supporting the mu- movement. More music be on the way. Yeah, so watch out. And this is not the tape three. It's out now on all platforms. Make sure you check it out. Put other people on. Thank you so much. Right. Uh, Ria, please. Oh, um, for me, when um, I'll, I'll be honest, when I saw the performance with the, the the video performance, okay, I was a bit worried because I didn't see you as that vibrant dude that I knew. Like that's my opinion. Like I know Chrissy Arthur to be that guy that commanded presence on stage and all that, but then when I saw you, you seemed. It's not like you're not performing well, but you seemed a bit doubt for me but now listening to you it's more or less like i know where you're going like not going through like i know where you're going to and i know maybe you are evolving in your talent and you are evolving as a musician so um i'm not worried about you anymore and kudos to you you're doing well the new um it's not an ep right so this is not the tape three yeah, it's actually banging so congratulations thank you martinez Mexico. <laughs> yeah, Cas- yeah. <laughs> Mexico. It's good to have you back actively. Um, you've explained actively. Yeah, you've explained the reason why you weren't actively in the space, and I think it makes sense. Um, sometimes you take a break to work behind the scenes and you know sort things out. There are so much that goes, you know, um, to be in a brand. I mean, um, sometimes you have to go through a lot of things, but you are back. And for me, I don't think you are one artist who will even take a break, come back and struggle for his piece. You know, there are artists who take, you know, some break when they come back, you know, getting that attention, getting that hate or recognition becomes very difficult. But you have paid your dues and the love is deep for you. I have been on a show where um, some of the pundits and even the hosts suggested that we should pray for you because it looks like <laughs> something is um, hindering your, your career because such a talent, such a great artist, I mean, ah, we can't have Kwesiata of the scene. And it might be funny, but it tells how 
people are concerned about you and we don't know what actually is going on. But when you released for life, it's like yo, you are back. And Fefe I mean the 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 tip three, the songs so far what I've heard, Charlie, it shows that you didn't go to sleep. You were rather working very hard. So just keep up. Once we are back, I mean um it's good to have you. Where we've reached as an industry, we need Quesiata to help project the game to that global stage where we want to be. I mean, you are doing more for us and you are an icon for the youth as well. So I don't think you've lost your space at all. No, 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 no. I, I don't see that. Um, I don't see any struggle. And with what Slim said, it's all about love. I mean, no hard sure. feeling. Yeah. So, uh, but, uh, but I, be like, I, I receive some comments over here and... Uh, mm. I'd like to address one one of them real quick. Uh, I think I've seen Kofi Moles. Uh, I don't know if he was he's referring to anything, but mo- most of the people are like, oh, Slim C, Kwesi, Fold. And I'm like, did I ever say in my editorial, say I see Kwesi, I go punch him? Or, Why? Yeah, yeah, it's like, I feel people get it wrong when we talk about artists, and I want to put this one out there, that we are, right. it's never a fight. We don't have any fight. It's all for the betterment of the industry. But do you have any problem with Kofi Mole? No, no, no. I just saw. I don't know. I just see for the comment section inside, and it's, there are a couple of people that are putting out that, that thing. No, because I we saw Kofi Mole. Yeah, yeah, we don't. If I'm fooling or something. Yes. Like so, so Kofi Mole, my guy. Charlie, now mm-hmm. I can't perform for me for free. I mean, it's all love. I mean, why would I have anything against anybody? If entertainers or if DJs or presenters sit and talk about entertainment issues and entertainment personalities, I want make people understand this thing. We don't have anything. Me, there. There are zero artists on my list where I will talks I get hit for him or I get fight with them. Ah, why I will fight Kosi for? If Kosi win, it's a win for us. It's a win for me. When I say Cowboys were winning, I did come as way I get international you know, deals and all that because I'm a DJ in that region. So if Kosi is winning, he's winning for Ghana and, I'm, and I will benefit from him. In the so chain. It's in the chain. So it's, it's a duty that I have to protect Kosi at all costs. If it's tough love that I have to put it out there, I have to put it out there. You understand? So I just want to get that thing off my chest that, yo, look, we don't have anything against any artist. It's our duty to talk about entertainment and talk about entertainment issues, including personalities. If you do not understand this thing in 2024, then Charlie, you for you for format your brain. We'll make it hug ECG. Yeah, go hug the nearest transformer we there by you. Kwasi? No, no. You are winning, eh? Yeah? Me there. I just hope uh, you yeah. put all of these negatives behind you, all right. Um, well, what's your relationship with Blacko? You, you like you, you, you know, you, you, they admire you a lot. There's a lot of eulogies around for you by Blacko. Yeah, um, yeah, I think he's a really great artist. You know, like we be cool, like we have conversations every now and then. You know, yeah. You guys coming up with a record? Um, we have a record, but the um, we had a record, but we couldn't put it out because of certain issues. You know, it was like kind of leaked. You know, so it made oh, really? the record some way. We it's been like long overdue as well. Like we're looking to lock in when we both find ourselves in the same area, and yeah, just make new records. Yeah. So, but shouts to Blacko. And you're doing something with TME Music. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. So the thing is. Um, we collabed on this project, you know, to put out this project on all platforms. Mm. Yeah, and I think TME Music is one of the... Oh, yeah, they're based in Canada or something like that. Eh? Like, I think Ghana. Yeah, Ghana and France. France, France, yeah, France. And, like, they're one of, like, the budding Ghanaian companies in the music space that are really, like, supporting upcoming artists. So it was only right to collaborate with them and put this project out. So shouts to Frank... From TME and mm. all the team there. Mm. So this EP, uh, sorry, this mixtape. Where do we get it? Where um, if we need the whole pack? Yeah. Oh, we did everywhere. It's on Spotify. It's on. It was num. It's number one on Apple Music albums. Ooh, I think ooh, in Ghana. Amazing. Yeah, it's Congrats. already like I think the next day, no, or the same day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so shout outs to everyone who's been playing it. Thank you guys so much. It's everywhere. Audio Mark too. You people go get them for there. Um, these are everywhere. Everywhere. Kwesi? Easter Monday, where you go be? 
Easter Monday, that's when is Easter Monday? In, the month, in a week. In a month, week. Yeah. Today's a week. week today. Oh, a week today. I think I'll be shooting. Yeah. I have a video on Monday. Okay. Yeah. I'm inviting you to trek here. Yeah? The resurrection effects by Impress Gift to you. Do you go to church? Oh. <laughs> oh, but Sunday, be I'm sure your friend is saying sermons near there, there. Oh, TV, so. Why? Well, what's stopping you from going to church? Oh, I said, long what's wrong with Yeah. Oh, no, never. I'm like, I'm not, no one is too big for God. You know, you can never be too big for God. But I pray every day. And the funny thing is, I, I personally bought my first Bible like three weeks ago. You know, so I've been personally like going through it. Though I've had it on my phone for the longest time, but I thought I needed like a physical copy of it to be able to dissect it myself, you know. So, yeah, like, and yo, big ups. Like, thank I'm so grateful to God for how far. When, when you bought the Bible, what was the first page you read? What was the first or page? Or fir- first chapter you read? Oh, I went straight to Proverbs. Yeah, I went straight to Pro- Proverbs still. <laughs> Go through, but I don't remember the actual. <laughs> <laughs> why, why proverbs? Oh, I think there's a there's a lot of like wise sayings in proverbs. Like there's a lot of like food there, you know that will help you live your life. So that's actually one of my favorite books in the Bible. So proverbs to stop the there. Wow. Last week I said they read the the oh, okay. on the, on the library the the this the this song where uh, dilute do a. <laughs> The title will be Proverbs 26, verse 5. Mm. Okay. You know what's there? Ko, ko, ko. Huh? Oh, you want me to read it for ko, you? Yeah, yeah, ko. Yeah, okay. Ko. As, As, yeah, yeah. Apostle. Apostle. Mama min kaya and sani apon. Apostle, ko. Um, just as Kwesi Hata said in the song, ya apon. Mabusem de okaya ya no shiro. 20, Proverbs 26, verse 5. Uh, Okay, verse 5. Oh, don't worry. Answer a fool. Uh, please. Proverbs 26, verse 5. Yeah, this is the word of God. Huh? So that's the Bible a, talking. But Bible. Oh, can Bible, I dream. No, Bible. See, I can Bible. You have a moon and Bible. Oh, okay. Oh, so the Nijia. Answer a fool according to his folly. Lest he be wise in his own eyes. Be sure to answer the foolish arguments of fools, or they will become wise in their own estimation. That is the word of the Lord. Amen. 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 Thanks be to God. Because you want Jesus. I'm say amen. Proverbs are same near you. Who just would? But that's come and play make your way. It's from the mixtape. Here we are. Then we play for life. Because for life is our life. For life, for life, for life, for life, for life. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. Ria, your brother is leaving. Yes, um, all the best, darling. Thank you. Mm. Kwesi, thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you so, you so much. much. I really enjoyed this interview. Listeners, 